Greetings Turians, Chaos here. I often see builders settling for square boxes or low effort houses early in a playthrough only to tear them down or abandon them and build something grander later on. And one comment I see excusing this is that you can't build a good house early in the game. And that simply isn't true. Today, I've gathered a ton of building materials available to you before killing a single boss and I'll show you how you can use them to create a fancy early game house. So first off, I'm going to start by creating the false foundation below the house just because it's something that I think really really makes a build pop and no matter what difficulty you're in, you'll find materials that you can use to pull this effect off. So for the foundation of the house, I've used stone slab, which you can get in pre-hard mode or uh, before killing a single boss just by crafting it at a heavy workbench. And then we have dynasty wood for the floor of the bottom part of the house, which of course is just sold by the traveling merchant. The living wood comes from the living wood wand, which you could find in living trees. Again, everything that we're going to be using today, you do not need to kill a single boss to obtain. The fences that I'm using are rich mahogany, which you can just pick up at a jungle. I'm currently placing some ebonstone brick. If you don't have a corruption world, however, you could still do something similar by just going over to the desert and crafting some sandstone brick instead. It's a little bit brighter, but it does look quite similar. So this style of house is going to kind of combine a couple of different style of houses that I've shown in build tip tutorials before, just because I want to give a wide variety of uh, examples for you to use. So I'm building a battlement turret that's going to come out of this side of the house. Normally I would use this ebonstone brick combined with palladium column to give a nice effect on the sidewall. Today, obviously, since we're doing a no boss kill early, uh, early game build, we won't have that palladium column. So a nice effect that I think looks just as good, it's just a different style, is to just place uh, gaps between the wall like this. And then once you fill them in with some gray painted rich mahogany fence, it really looks quite nice. We get a nice effect for the side walls on the tower now. I'm going to use some more dynasty wood and living wood to just create a support beam at the top of the tower just to give it a little bit more detail, a little splash of color against the gray. I'm going to keep the background walls in here simple since we're not going to have all of the walls that we'd normally be able to, to obtain from the dungeon. You can get some walls uh, by farming the entrance to the dungeon, but you won't be able to get very far without killing Skeletron. So I'm leaving those walls out of the build today. I am going to use dungeon doors just because you can usually pick up one if not two fairly easily without having to encounter a dungeon guardian and since we don't need a mass amount of them I thought it would be a, a reasonable material to include in here because you can obtain it without killing any bosses. I'm 
I'm going to show you a couple of different wall patterns here as well. We're going to just do the uh, patchwork wood wall over here. So we have wood walls plus ebon wood wall since again we're going off of a corruption build. If you had a crimson world you wouldn't be able to pull this look off. However, in exchange for that, you would have access to things like shade wood, which would look very good as support beams rather than the living wood wall that I'm using right now. This other part of the build, I'm just going to place some dynasty, white dynasty wall, just because it's a nice wallpaper look. It gives the build a little bit more of a contrast. And then for sideways support beams, I'm going to take a rich mahogany wood painted brown. Lead and iron fences are also very easy to obtain early game. Uh, just bear in mind, as I've said in previous videos, you cannot use iron fences for valid houses at the moment. And hopefully that bug will be addressed. I'm not actually sure if it's a bug. I feel like it's a bug. It feels like a bug to me since it's the only wall that kind of prevents... Uh, and the only player placeable wall that prevents house validation. An additional fence that makes a nice window, which I'll be showing you here briefly, is Ebonwood fence uh, in this particular design because, again, we have the corruption. It's a nice thin fence, which you can still see out of, and it just makes it look like a, a nice fenced window. Uh, if you don't have the corruption, I would probably go with normal wood fence. For the rooftop of the bottom part of the house, I'm just going to use some brown painted uh, leaf. However, if you were to just visit the merchant and purchase a sickle, you could just farm some grass and get some hay and do that as well if you'd prefer that look. I am placing some hay wall in the background to cover up the gaps between the leaf and the blocks next to the leaf. I'm going to place some uh, top and support beams using uh, this rich mahogany wood painted brown just to make it look like there's a beam of wood on the roof kind of holding the leaf uh, up. Fireplaces and chimneys are also something that you can get before killing a single boss. However, since we're not killing any bosses, you cannot obtain the wire or the uh, wire activation like a switch or lever that you would need to actually turn on the chimney. So while I will be placing a chimney right now, I can't set it to actually create smoke particles, unfortunately. At this point, I'm just hammering some gaps into the leaf and just filling it in with some more brown painted hay just to give a little bit more texture 
to the leaf and make the roof look a little bit more rugged. And now that I've given the false foundation grass time to grow, I'm just going to fill that in with some white painted mudstone brick. And just a few more details left to go, I'll just decorate the house a little bit. If you get the angler, you can get that potted sea plant very easily just by completing fishing quests. Boreal wood is obtainable in any uh, world, so you can use this for a nice fancy bed or a chest. The chalice and the fancy dishes are another uh, pair of items that are from the traveling merchant. So really, if you look at it, there are a lot of building materials that you have available to you early on in the game. In fact, I'd say you have access to most materials right out the gate. If you just take the time to go hunt them down, you might need to unlock some NPCs, but you don't need to kill any bosses to get a really nice looking house. I am going to go ahead and place a few books in here just because in most cases you will be able to find a dungeon that has plenty of books right at the entrance. And that's all it takes to get a fancy looking house early in the game. Just farm a few NPCs, farm a few materials, visit a few biomes, you don't need to kill any bosses, you don't need to progress at all to get a fancy looking house. I hope you guys found this build tip video helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please hit the bell notification so that you guys get notified every time I publish a video. It really, really helps me out. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Happy building.